Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your transmitter with Tiny Whoop Go if you're running Mac OS. I'm Jeff with Titan FPV and you're going to acquire some knowledge today. All right, so basically the problem is uh, trying to set up your transmitter in TinyWhoop Go, you're not getting all the channels. Um, it's really excited to play this sim. Um, they have a lot of competitive races. It's free, I believe, for the most part. There may be content that you could purchase. Uh, I'll post a link in the video description. But basically, I tried to set up my Tyrannus X9D, my Tango 2, and now my Radio Master Zorro. And I was having the same issue. And uh, we're gonna dive right in and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So we'll just hit fly solo, make sure your transmitter's already connected and you've selected HID joystick when you have it plugged in to USB. So we're gonna configure the controller. All right, you only have one option here. It's gonna be the Mac gamepad. So you're gonna select that. Now how I have my simulator model set up generally is I just take my model, in this case uh, Express LRS, I uh, copy it, and then I just disable the internal module or, or the, the module, uh, in this case it's the ter internal module, so I'm not uh, transmitting while I'm playing the sim. This saves on battery life and wear and tear on your transmitter. So that's just how I do it. It works. It's pretty easy in all the simulators I've used. Uh, lift off, uh, lift off, micro drones, curry kitten sim, velocidrone. They've all just kind of worked out of the box. But I just had an issue ever since I downloaded uh, Tiny Whip Go, I believe last year. I just haven't been able to play it. And I'm on a Mac, and I've seen many other users that are on a Mac have had a similar issue. That's what I want, wanted to bring this fix for you guys. We're gonna go ahead and center all our sticks. And then once you have that done, we're gonna hit configure. And we're just gonna take the throttle stick and go up. You see that channel's working. And then down. All right, and I believe yaw is the one that I had the issue with there. So. Now I fly mode four, it doesn't matter. If you fly mode two, like most people in the US and the rest of the world do, uh, you're just gonna, uh, in, that, in this case, you use your left stick right. But uh, I'm doing uh, mode four, which is the right stick right, uh, and I'm getting uh, no response from that channel. So pretty much I can't proceed. You can try to move some of the other sticks. We'll try to move uh, roll to the right. You see roll works, but that's that's not gonna work for me now. This is gonna be pitch. Pitch is working. So pretty much um, my real yaw stick is not working. So I'm missing a channel. So with this uh, using the transmitter it's pretty much unplayable now you can use the keyboard um, that's going to kind of defeat the purpose in my opinion for the sim so this is what we had to get a fix for i kind of scoured the internet uh, couldn't find anything and then i joined the tiny Whoop go facebook group and I searched, uh, and I did find that Jesse Perkins, actually the uh, creator of Tiny Whoop, had posted a fix that somebody had told him. So I'm not taking credit for that. Uh, we'll credit this to Jesse. Um, but I wanted to pass this fix along to you because I just couldn't find any content on this. Let's see how we need to set up our transmitter in order to get it to work on Tiny Whoop Go. All right, let's dive in. Now, like I said, I have my normal sim. 
set up. Uh, that just wasn't working for me there. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the system menu here. We're gonna page over to the radio setup menu. And all right, so the default channel order on the Zorro is gonna be AETR. As you see, I am running mode four. That doesn't really matter. Uh, but what does matter is the channel order. So it's a weird channel setup. Don't ask me why they did this. Uh, I don't know if this is the same on a Windows PC, uh, but for a Mac, this is the channel order that we're gonna need. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to set that up. So by default, uh, you can just go ahead and change this. Now the Tango is T-A-E-R, um, but I'm gonna change this to a little bit different. And we'll come back in here and change this channel order uh, channel order back all right so all right so I'm going to change it to TREA uh, you can do this on your radio as well it doesn't have to be a Zorro it doesn't really matter all right we're going to go ahead and exit out of that so then the next model I set up it's going to default the RX channel order to TREA okay and that's what we want so we're going to go ahead and exit out back over here we're gonna hit the model key and then we're gonna go ahead and create a new model all right and then we're just gonna go ahead and dive in we're gonna call this one I just call it TWG go so for tiny whip go you can call it whatever you want but I want to distinguish this from the other sims because they don't require modification. So we want to have our own model for Tiny Whoop Go on Mac. All right, sweet. Okay, that's done. And we're gonna go ahead and page over. All right, and as you see, here is my weird channel order, T-R-E-A. All right, page one over to the mixer and this is where we're gonna play around. The reason why I did this is the first three channels on here are correct. And then we have to move aileron down to channel six. Don't ask me why. All right. It says you can add one. We'll go ahead and add one for channel seven um, for your mode switch. Honestly, I wasn't able to get this to work. I'm okay with hitting the keyboard command to change my mode in the simulator, but we'll try it out. Like I said, I don't think it's gonna work. Um, Exit out of that. For the source, uh, I think the mode is going to be two position. I think you just have stab for stability and acro mode. So let's go ahead and put it over here because most of the time I put my arm over here and that's going to be confusing. All right, we got that set up. And that's good to go. All right, so. One second here. I think we've got a duplicate for some reason. Yes, I have a duplicate aileron that I don't need. All right, and then for some reason, yes, six and seven. So four and five are open. All right, and if you want to, you don't have to. You can go ahead and label these uh, so it's easier to set up here. So. Uh, the second one, which is rudder, 
We're gonna call that one y'all. Like I said, this is really messed up. And then the third channel, which is elevator, it's actually going to be pitch. So we got yaw, pitch, we're going to drop down to channel six, edit that one, and then it's actually going to be roll. And then I think we already have the last one set as mode. So we're done here on your transmitter. Now you probably want to go ahead uh, before you get, uh, before you forget and change your default channel order. Uh, you don't want to screw up making any other models. So you go back in the system and then you're going to page over to the main page. We're going to change that back to, in this case, it was AETR for the Radio Master Zorro. But if you're running a Tango, it's going to be T-A-E-R. All right, all good. We got our Tiny Whoop Go model set up. Let's hop back in to the app. In the Tiny Whoop Go. And see if our new setup works. All right, once again, Mac gamepad. All right, we're going to center our sticks. All right, we're going to hit configure. Let's go ahead and throttle up, throttle down. Okay, we're going to y'all right, y'all left, pitch forward, pitch back, roll right, roll left, and you can hit your aux, but like I said, it didn't work for me. Hit save. And then we'll hit complete. Now we're just going to go ahead and select our drone. We'll select, uh, we'll just select the, the micro drone 65. All right. And then in our arms, I couldn't get it to work otherwise. And looks like we are tiny whooping, guys. So if you're like me, 
that was a great help I've been wanting to get started with this forever forgive me I literally just got this set up so I want to pass this information on to you guys hope this video was informative if you're not subscribed please do so give this video a thumbs up leave a comment down below I'll get back to you as soon as I can and we'll catch you in the next one